Hey everyone and welcome back to the Heavenly Homestand. Today I'm going to talk to you about something that you guys ask me recently and frequently I might add and that is about Briere. You guys watched that video where I mentioned their due dates and uh, Briere's due date is kind of in the middle between the other girls. However, she is looking very, very, very fat for how far she is along. Some people thought maybe she is pregnant with a lot of babies, but other people mentioned, and I got a couple of Instagram messages saying that she might be bloated to look into it. Um, and I know that my friends mean good things and you know they just want to make sure that she's okay so I decided to do this video and address the situation that she might be bred and um, with a lot of kids um, if she was bred before or if she's blown and this girl is the one that is the farthest along I can't believe I mean she either is getting chunky chunky or she is starting to develop now, Mocha was bred, I don't know, five days after, and she's not that, I mean, chunky. And it's not that Brie eats more. I mean, look at Briere. She looks way too fat. Now I'm thinking, did she actually breed before, you know, the first time that she was in heat? Or, I mean, she was clearly in heat, she clearly short cycled, but I'm wondering because she would be the one that would be the farthest along. And if you look at Gaia, I mean, she looks just fine. But look at Briere, and she is not the one that eats the most. So I don't know, is she, was she, is she gonna deliver in February? I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna have to be on top of her ligaments and kind of checking those things. I <laughs> I do have both date both dates when she was bred um, to Dom, so I don't know. But that right side, and no, she's not bloated. Um, a lot of people think that when goats are very round, they're bloated, but when they are bloated. They will be bloated on both sides. They will be bigger on both sides, but the left one would be higher. And when they are, well, they have bloat, they are basically just laying down. They don't want to eat. They're sad. They don't want to drink. They separate from the herd. So if you ever see one of your goats being just fat, that's what it is. They overate. They have a hay belly. But now you can see the, the, the main difference. Can you see how Brie looks? Ugh. I don't know. I guess you guys spotted first and wonder if she was bloated. No, she's not bloated. Uh, she just might be the farthest along by you know a few weeks and um, as a first freshener you never know now <clears throat> I don't know but Briere is giving me mocha vibes so she could surprise us with quads you never know is it normal for first fresheners to have that many no it's not is it possible yeah it's very much possible so who knows? Hopefully I won't be in the dilemma of Clara that she short cycled last year. She had quads and two of the quads were the same size and the other ones were the same size. It's like two different set of twins. And I always wonder if maybe she got bred both times. But it would be weird because why would she go into a second heat cycle 10 days from the initial one? You know what I mean? It just wouldn't make a lot of sense. So, yeah, I am. I, I I hear you guys. Somebody sent me a message on Instagram, which kind of bad to spot them because my phone, for whatever reason, is not working very well. But I logged in on my computer and I saw the message saying, "Is Briere okay?" She is. Now. <clears throat> 
if you want to gauge the, the if a goat is fat then you do it by their spine and if it has an inclination or if it's kind of flat she does have she lost a lot of weight because she was actually fat because of the kind of hay that she was eating I guess you're on your own sweet Clara how about your babies how are your babies doing hello babies this is Kwame hello children are you nice and warm inside your mama belly? Ay, they're nice and warm, Clara. They're very nice and warm. Huh. I wonder how many she's going to have this year. Is she going to surprise us? She probably, because no matter if it's four, that would be a surprise. Or if it's last, you know, that also be a surprise. For the last two years, she had quads. So we'll see this year what she ends up doing. But most importantly, what I am gonna do because um, there's something that needs to change when the quad situation here because last year I struggled with Moga squads and with Clara squads, well some of them, because it's hard for them to feed all of them. Like they do it, they, they, they're not gonna die because of starvation, but they are also not thriving some of them that are weaker than others the ducks are breeding and having the best time anyways so yeah we'll see let's see you look at Gaia and she does not look as big as Briere at this point I'm wondering if maybe something happened before then maybe when we were doing hooves or something, one of the boys got to her. At this point, I have no idea. I have no idea, but I, how did she go back into heat if she was bred already? That wouldn't make sense. And I know, I know she was in heat. Like I could see the discharge, she was loud. And she was never that loud ever before. That's why it was hard to spot her cycles. But if you watch that video, if not, I'm going to put it on the top of the screen. She's a screamer, as much as Gaia is when they are in heat. So, you guys try to behave, okay?